Today we're going to talk through how tight a table saw blade should be to be correct and what are the ramifications if you over tighten or if you under tighten your table saw blade. First let's take a quick look at the mechanism of the arbor which is underneath the table that actually holds the blade. What we have is this shaft coming out uh, parallel to the tabletop and it's threaded and it has what really appears to be a washer here uh, which you undoubtedly can't see very clearly under the table uh, but but we'll be able to clarify it here above the table then you have the saw blade and the way we mount the saw blade is to there's a, there's a hole in the center the same size slightly bigger than the threaded arbor so we put the blade on like that uh, up against that sort of fixed washer uh, that's on fixed plate. But the plate, let's look at the geometry of the plate, and then I'm going to put a, a, a like geometry plate over it on the outside and then a bolt that I'm going to tighten down. So let's take a look at the geometry of this plate. This plate has a ring that's solid uh, about half between a half and three quarters of an inch out from the hole for the arbor and this is recessed between this and the arbor is recessed that's actually a gap and there's the same gap down here and what you want and so the think about this the pressure of this nut is going to be against the outer surface where that recess is so let's put this on here First you put this, I'll call it a washer on there, then you put the nut on there. And what we're talking about now is how tight do we tighten down this nut against that blade. And you may think, well, it's just a flat piece of metal. What's the difference how tight we put it? Well, it can be too loose and it can be too tight. Let me explain. Too loose means that it could wobble free as you as this blade spins at a very high RPM, this nut could actually come loose and the blade could begin to flap around. Now you'd have to have it pretty loose to do that, but it can happen and so you can't have it too loose. But now remembering the geometry of that washer that's on, of the two washers that are on both sides of that blade with the nut in the space in the middle, if you cinch down that nut too tight, you could actually warp the blade. If you warp the blade, a, even, even a thousandth or a couple thousandths of an inch, that blade is going to be wobbling slightly and you're not going to get the quality of cut. And it could potentially be a safety issue, but in, rea in reality, it's a quality of cut issue. So you have to get it tight enough that you do not have a safety issue with the nut coming loose and you want to get it uh, loose enough that you're not changing the uh, the flatness you're not uh, altering the flatness of the blade so i simply put uh, i use two wrenches on this saw stop table saw and i do this and i just tighten it what i would call almost finger tight not terribly tight at all. Uh, if you start cinching that down, you are in danger of altering the geometry of that blade, and that would be a bad thing. So, to recap, there are safety issues involved, and there are quality of cut issues involved. The safety issue, if you get it too loose, you could have a wobbling blade that could be very, very dangerous. And if you get it too tight, you could alter the geometry of the blade and get it out of flat based on the tightness of that nut. And that that would uh, affect uh, the quality of the cut because the blade could be wobbling. And you don't want that either from a safety perspective or from a quality of cut perspective. Uh, now, when you talk about other types of blades, for instance, a dado blade, if we were to take this off and we were to put a multiple uh, set of, uh, uh, that had chippers in between two outer blades uh, on a dado blade, uh, then you would have to be concerned about 
not only the tightness of the of the of the nut, but you have to make sure that those are sandwiched correctly and that the teeth offset one another and there aren't teeth against one another because that again could give you a wobbling blade and not allow you to put the nut on there correctly. So safety issues and quality of cut issues. Just kind of what I would call in parentheses finger tight. Don't overdo it but make sure it's tight enough. As always uh, if you liked what you saw hit the like button please and uh, please subscribe and we'll keep you uh, connected with us for future content.